Greetings everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover and let's continue playing as the Soviet, as the Russian SFSR in our Hearts of Iron 4 game. So this is the third time I'm recording this because the first time, uh, audio was not being recorded. Second time, um, it just wasn't recording at all, so... Hopefully this is okay, but I will let you know it is already November 15th because like I said the first time I was recording this it just didn't record my voice so Honestly, I helped send some divisions to Turkey or I guess yeah I sent some divisions to Turkey helped defend against the Italians, but in all honesty you really didn't miss very much I did release the Baltic SSR because someone told me I should and I figured why not since I only have claims on them I don't get cores and we lose a little a few factories, but Mm, it's nice to have a little bit of an ally. I will annex them later on, as well as Iran, which has a terrible name. We gotta make Iran a little bit more communist before I really want to annex them, much like the Baltic SSR. So, eventually, both countries will join our stateless and uh, classless utopian society someday. But anyways, let's continue on. Like I said, this is like the third time I'm recording today. God, I just hope that it's actually recording. I really do. Anyways. Uh, right now, we are preparing to go to war with nobody, actually. If I do this, uh, I hate how you can't do anything about this. I really wish you could have, like, a front line against everyone who's in a potentially or potential enemy faction. But, nevertheless, oh well. Can't really do very much about that. Uh, this seems a little off. Oh, they're coming from Europe. Oh. Oh, that's fine, whatever. I, it doesn't really matter to me. Whatever. And actually, if that's the case, the next time I have Asian divisions or divisions who are developing in Asia, I'll send them to Europe next time. It doesn't really matter to me. I kind of just want to get through this because, like I said, I've done this already once. I sent some planes to help out Turkey. But do we have any other planes I could help out as well? So you guys, get rid of... Uh, don't get rid of you guys. Increase that. Uh, fighters? They're, they're pretty good, but... Eh. Help them out down here. Planes. Heavy fighters. Thank you very much. And then some more heavy fighters. Yes, please. Uh, where'd they go? Heavy fighter ones? Uh, sure, why not? I'll send you down here to help out as well. But I'll send you to come over to... Nice, radar is done. You come to him. Let's see, research slot. I've already done this before, so... I'm I'm going pretty quick at this. Did that already. Maintenance companies would be nice. You know what, it's already 1940. Let's go ahead and get the KV-1 for next year. That sounds like actually like a really smart thing to do. 1941 heavy ship is done. But before we actually do 1941's... 1940 heavy ships. I've already been making a 1936 heavy ship hull. Uh, let's get some something else. I already did this. Dual purpose research thingamabobbers. Air. 1940 stuff is pretty good. Air doctrine could be improved. Ooh. Research bonus. Construction research bonus? Sure. Oh, let's go ahead. We got a lot of naval XP. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. I want level 3 heavy batteries. Thank you very much. Uh, actually... Uh, we could add another one on, because why not? Increase the battleship armor by 1. Put on dual purpose. Get slightly faster engines. Better radar. And a slightly better thing right there. There you go. That's nice. God, I hope this is recording. Anyways, Leningrad. Yes. Build one of these only. That's not bad, actually. 1942, we'll have a 1936 battleship hull. Only takes six years to make them. Great. Right now, just keep defending, guys. You're doing a fine, fine job. Fine, fine, fine job. Uh, yeah, not bad. Uh, I will let you know I have experienced the war with the Germans to begin with. I guess the Republic of Iraq just joined. But let's just say with the front line system versus the fallback line system, the front line system could definitely use some work because all this, all these divisions are going to be swapped around to different places, which really kind of sucks, but whatever. Really not much you can really do about that. Can I give you a field marshal? Yes. A pretty good field marshal, that is. Something I did catch earlier, though. With the five divisions we helped sent to Republican Spain, I don't think I need an 
infantry division here, so I'm just going to go throw you onto here. So we're left with four. Right now, since we're developing better tanks, go ahead and replace two of these guys with heavier tanks. Add on logistic companies as well as artillery. That'll be useful. Actually, that'll be really useful. If you guys only infantry battalions, I'll switch you up later with more artillery in them. We've got winter clothing done. We're doing sacrifice, which is good. Uh, yeah, not too bad, actually. Mm, better artillery sounds like a good thing to do. Develop the Ural Mountain region. Great. Two more infantry divisions. Awesome. Focus. Focus, focus, focus. Uh, status of labor unions is what I did earlier, so we'll get more political power and a little bit more factory output. Great. Oh, let's do this. Actually, since I released the Baltic SSR, uh, to actually form them, they need claims on all the Baltic states, which includes Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania, but they also needed Mamel. So I used a state transfer tool mod, transferred Mamel to the Estonians, created the country, and then returned Mamel to the Germans, so things wouldn't be too weird. Also, uh, since we're here, anyways, these four divisions, they're not really doing very much. Come over to, ooh, oh, the Molotov Riventrop Pact is over. Um, let me just say this for now, because I know this area too well, go ahead and guard these provinces. Let's, you'll see why. Ooh, especially with the frontline system, that's really bad. Right now, we're making a lot of thingamabobs. Um, we're gonna need more forts around these areas. Let's, I'm gonna let just let you know that right now. We're definitely gonna need some more forts around here. Uh, just go ahead and do that level two stuff. Actually, you probably don't need that one. But also be making at least one line of that, and then do that and that. Cool. Keep making factories. We will. Oh, we need more and more factories. Actually, I need more rubber, too. Uh, ooh, non-aggression pact with the Japanese. Despite tensions with the Japanese and the Russian FSSR, uh, they were increasing until recently. The Japanese now open negotiations for a non-aggression pact. The advantage advantages to us are clear, but what should concern us is advantages it also gives to the Japanese and whether we will live to regret this move. Yeah, we're going to have peace with them for now. That's a really good idea to do. Because that really lets us focus on one side at a time as our soldiers are getting attacked around Istanbul. Because we were pushed out earlier and that's why I sent divisions to help them out. Just in case. And Ivan is doing a good job. He's 62% of the way towards infantry leader. Good. Good, 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 good. Ooh, Flammenwerfer. So we get a little bit less reliability, minus 5%. But we do get more urban attack as well as fort attack. So it's a trade-off, you know, like most things in life. We're going to do maintenance companies next, just because they could be really useful on our tanks. Like, really, really useful. So especially since we're using heavy tanks. Norway's capitulated. Also, I let you know this. I did put a Morozov Armor Designer, or Design Bureau, on for tanks. So they get slightly more speed and a little bit more reliability. So that would be kind of nice. What is this? Merging with... Huh. Oh, they're still training, I guess. Which is more than fine with me. We have sacrifice done. Less supply consumption. Next up is rush production for more factory output. Love it. Throw these divisions on the line. I love it as well. It's 1941, so happy 1941, everyone. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to break this up first. I want you two. Over here. And you'll see, I'm going to try this. I didn't try this earlier, but I'm going to try it like this right now. You guys stop this. You three armies will border the Germans. These two armies will border the Romanians. And then this army will border the Hungarians. But I want to try it like this because last time the frontline system was really messed up. When I tried to put a front line coming from a fallback line. So maybe this way it'll go a little more smoothly. And this does give, give our guys a little bit of time to maybe get a little bit more XP. Because it looks like they could really kind of use it. Go ahead and train. Uh, you guys definitely don't need to train. Some of you guys are veterans from previous wars. Uh, the armies against the Finns are definitely going to train. And then you guys, you guys might as well train as well. Cool. Yep, how many more divisions you got here? Oh, one more? Cool. Oh, and we have 150 political power. 
So right now we have 50% party popularity. Uh, just in case we go to war with anybody, you, you know you never know if we might go to war with someone. Uh, let's see, can we get improved worker conditions? No, we cannot. So let's go ahead and grab... Oh, let's see, aircraft designer. Fuel usage goes down by 5% for Gr Grabowski. Huh, this is for paratroopers. Interesting. Heavy aircraft. Naval aircraft. Light aircraft. Heavy fighter reliability. Hmm. Material designer. I'm thinking, you know what, we'll probably go to war soon, so let's go ahead and grab someone who's pretty good on defense. Sounds like a good idea to me. What are the Germans up to? Because by this time, the last time I did this, they were focusing on going to war with us? But I guess not at the moment. Ah, there we go. Invade the Soviets. And odds are it's not going to be the Soviets who try to... Or the Germans who will try to invade the Soviet Union. Because something tells me Romania might. Just because I might have played this a little bit earlier and the game didn't record my mic. Or forgot to record. I can't remember which one now. Either way, I didn't have the footage that I needed. Uh, looks like the Brits are trying to attack here. Which isn't good. But I'm glad we helped the Republican Spain out, because they might just join us before th too long. Develop the private sector, even though you're communist? Hmm, it's not, that's not adding up. Hmm. But they can do communist indoctrination, but they can do support democracy? Why would they do that? Uh, I don't think they would. 1941, that's good. R researching next level tanks. We're researching the next level for our land doctrine. And we need Excavation 1 eventually. We're going to get radar first. Good. Oh, and actually, you know what? Since they're already justifying on us, you guys look pretty good already. Oh, some of you guys are not, though. 95, 5%. Uh, just keep, Let me keep an eye on how close you guys are to invading us. Romania. You're still okay. Hungary's okay. We're getting attacked down here. Oh, we're really getting attacked. Wow. Not down here too much. Just keep an eye on these guys real closely. Oh, this is getting better and better. Nice. Just make sure no one is like noob level. Good. You guys should be good as well. You guys are more than fine. And you guys are good as well. Cool. Status of the labor unions is done. Next up we will do... What is this? Has to be. We have to be at war for this to fire, because actually I got that to fire without doing anything. An ocean-going navy sounds like fun. Recalibration of quotas. Takes only 35 days, but let's do an ocean-going navy. Just because we could really use more ships. And it'll give us a total of four dockyards in the next focus, so. Alright. Hopefully this will all go according to plan. God, I really hope it does. Oh, we actually have some free military factories. So what do we need? Guns are not bad. Artillery is freaking awesome. We will probably need some more support equipment. Tanks are okay. Motorized is okay. Let's just say we're going to need maybe a few more guns. We need more aluminum. Support equipment's okay. We need some more of this. Definitely more heavy fighters. Definitely more heavy tanks. Probably more of this. Heavy bombers are okay. I'm going to keep that on low, kind of. And put medium bombers about here-ish. That should be pretty good. Oh, forts are getting there. Make some more... refineries, as well as more military factories. Always make more of those. Before anything else, really. Alright, not bad. Tanks are down here. Do I have anyone I can actually add to these guys for now? Ooh, goody goody. Yes, please. Another field marshal, just in case. Oh, I don't know. Max Ryder, because he's so low skill anyways, it doesn't even matter if he's here. Ah, give him defensive doctrine, because why not? Ooh. Twelve divisions. Throw him onto here. Do that. Do that. And then do that. For now. Because I'm going to regroup all these armies on Europe under one field marshal except for our tanks. 
And... Uh, sure, Alexander Gorbatov. Sure, why not? Why not? Like the Pokemon. Why not? Cool. Very good. Ocean going Navy before we move on too far. Empowered Labor Unions. Great. Do we have any spare planes? Yes. Followed by a yes. Anything else? It's a no. Send one to him. And then send another one to him. Good. Ooh. A lot of manpower. That's good. Production's pretty nice. Pretty good goings. Good, good, good. I think we'll pretty much be ready for war with the Germans. Whenever they want to, uh... Say goodbye to us. Or invade us. Or, you know, whatever. Oh, how are the Turks doing? Well, the British are holding ground in Egypt for now. And you see this white circle with a red area around it? That's Mexico. Mexico has that flag. Go figure. And the Mexican junta is fascist, even though they're mostly authoritarian. Yeah. But they just sent volunteers to the Axis powers instead of, instead of joining the Axis. So, go figure. Getting really close to invading us. Uh, we have mechanized equipment. Ships are doing okay. Oh, before we actually go to war with them, though, let's make sure that we're stopping this. Everyone up here comes to Leningrad and repairs. You guys do the same. Yeah, go ahead and do that. An ocean going Navy. Great. Expand the Red Fleet. Take 70 days for four more naval dockyards, which will be fine. Oh, this is not a lot. Oh, this is really not a lot of divisions where I have all these guys. Hmm. That's not good. Yeah, this is really not a lot of divisions. Uh. I'm going to throw you over here instead. This is probably a bad idea to reform your army or your frontline group. Oh well. Shouldn't hurt too many things. I don't think our guys are really moving around that much, so. And now they're at war with us. Figures. Oh, hello! Republic in Spain? Sure. Why don't you guys join this group over here, too? Tanks. Where are my tanks? They're, they can be used to help defend the line. Uh, I guess I'll throw you up here, then. Uh, where are you? There you are. Hello. Thank you very much. You guys are actually defending very well. Nice, we got the KV ones as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, sure. You can join the war. Yeah, why not? Awesome. Let's do ex excavation one because we'll definitely need that. Uh, you guys, go ahead and keep throwing soldiers onto Asia. Heavy tanks definitely do that. Heavy fighters are not terrible. Oh, we're getting attacked here. That's not good. Hmm, have some more heavy fighters. Yes, please. Uh. Where is this? Deploying. It's fine. Do that. And where are these soldiers? What the heck? Oh, you're deploying up, but we're... Oh, this is not good. We're gonna get cut off, aren't we? Since no one's here, what the hell are you doing? Why does it take you that long to redeploy? I need the tanks back down here then. Seriously, it it looked like it was fine. Okay, where is... Ah, uh, this frontline system so bad. Attack so that they won't advance too far. Retreat you two. Hopefully you can do that. Get everyone... Just agree to everyone's demands for now. Yeah, I knew this frontline system was going to be a mess. I'm going to lose things anyway, so. Am I at war with Romania? Am I at war with everyone? No, I'm not at war with Romania. Alright, interesting. Interesting enough. That these guys are just literally abandoning the line. Or these guys aren't doing anything to help defend the line. And someone, keep one division to hold here, because I don't want to get encircled. Andre is... Uh, attacked. Oh, do we advance? Oh, the Baltic Socialist Republic did. 
It looks... Okay. Alright, that's not bad. Could be a lot worse. You help attack. You three help attack this direction. Maybe you guys could push them out. Maybe. No, we cannot. You know what? Screw it. Since we're... We have to be at war with them. Right, let's see. They're at war with... Bhutan, Yugoslavia... No, they're not at war with us. What the hell? Nepal wants a non-aggression pact. Uh, sure. Oh my god, they're broken... They've broken the entire front line. Oh my god, what the hell? This is so much worse than last time. So much worse. And there's nothing we can do. Okay, I gotta go to war with Romania. Like... Thank you. Thank god. Okay, so let's go ahead and reform this front line then. Put you under him. Uh, put you two under him as well. Because this is what I wanted to do originally, but the frontline system's so messed up in this game. It's not even funny. You have to do it like this. I want to be able to form an entire frontline against an entire enemy faction. I can't believe that's still not in the game. That makes no sense. Torpedo bombers. Uh, you guys. Put all of you here. Wait, what? Nice. Oh, I got those eight divisions back. That's good. Uh, ch -ch -ch. put you on here. That'll be fine. Oh, you guys were defeated? Ooh, that's not good. Just make sure the front line's kind of stable. Uh, this front line system definitely needs a rework. Why are you attack? Why? Why are you attacking? You're obviously not going to win there. But don't lose. Just don't lose. That's the main thing. Just don't lose. Do that. And then... Maintenance companies are good. 1941? Yeah, let's get another maintenance company. Level. Go ahead and throw maintenance companies on these guys. That'll be good. Uh, we could probably use some war bonds right now. And more military factories. Let's see. Where should I build them? Ooh. 70% infrastructure. And 50 more percent. Not bad. If you guys could hurry up and, like, defend your actual areas, like, that would be great. Because I had this set up perfectly, but then, of course, the AI frontline system is just going to screw you up so badly. Alright, since you're not actually doing anything, like, productive, like, don't attack enemies that are already in our territory. Like, that does make, that doesn't make any sense. So... Uh, you guys, you can't really do anything. Does anyone have any upgrades? Any upgrades? Yes, no, probably not. Alright, so be it, so be it. So be it, so be it. Oh my goodness, we got... Are you kidding me? Are you flipping kidding me? Six divisions are encircled already. Come on, man. Come on, man. Seriously. I give you so much time pr to prepare just for the front lines to screw me over. Ugh, oh, for daddy, why? Force relocation's done. Please, just get to the front line. I need you on the front line so badly. We've lost 155,000, while the Germans have lost about 130,000 from against us. It looks like Greece has joined the Allies, which is good. The Germans are pushing already into Republican Spain, which is not good. Hmm. Oh, we get the effects of no longer having officers purged, which is a good thing. Two more divisions, I'll be throwing them onto here. Dispersed industry is done, so we get more max factories in the state. A little more uh, guys pushed out at the same time. Not bad, could be worse, could be a lot worse. Uh, da -da -da. Infantry, artillery is okay, we're doing more with our land doctrine. Yeah, not, not bad. Let's see, let's go ahead and get some more heavy fighter agility. And at least the front line seems to be stable... I lost all those tanks. What the hell, man? Man, what in the garbage is going on? You know what? Go ahead and just train these all to be heavy tanks. There's no point to have light tanks. I can't believe that the terrible nature of this frontline system has cost me my heavy tank divisions. They were actually pretty good. They were actually like veterans or something, too. So, gotta love, gotta love it, you know? Now I can't really push because I... I want to use my tanks, but no, the frontline system's like, no, we want to be bad. Hmm, well, really, our goal is just, just to defend at this point. Uh, and we're failing to defend anyways. Okay. 
Now, those casualties could be... Okay, those just instantly rose up. Uh, as long as Iran doesn't get invaded or anything like that. Oh, Republican Spain. This is going so much worse than last time. Oh, I cannot afford to lose this area, so go ahead and... Re don't retreat. We're going to do a tactical retreat. I'm going to slowly abandon this position. I'm going to... Don't you come this way. Don't you forget about me, baby. Forward observers, good. A little more re reinforce rate and a little more reconnaissance. I like it. Not bad. Go ahead. I got cut off? Are you flipping kidding me? Yeah, no. All these divisions are going to die now. Because they weren't getting attacked, but they just instantly all died. You all have to attack this way. Or, yeah, that army's dead. Wow, this is so much worse than before. This is incredibly terrible. Japan cleared one. Oh, Japan cleared one in the Philippines. Oh, baby. Wait, what, what happened to your soldiers there? We're getting attacked, and we can't attack back. Hmm. This, this isn't looking so good right now. 24 full divisions. A full army has been encircled already. Oof. Hey, at least the U.S. joined the Allies. I mean, I'm trying to play historical here, you know? Kind of, with Trotsky. You know, the Soviets going to lose a lot of manpower, a lot of guys to begin with. But in the end, we'll be fairly successful, hopefully. God, I hope so. Yeah, this is extremely unfair. They just won a battle immediately. There's no way these 24 divisions can escape. Can they win a battle here? If they can't, I'm literally just going to delete all these divisions. Yeah, they can't. I'm not going to waste lives like this. Alright, come on. There's just no point. God. Let's do that. That makes it so much easier. And I've lost a full army. Because the frontline system screwed me up. Gotta love it, right? Now, let's, you know, just screw ourselves up a little bit better. And reposition our front line. Because why not? Because why not? Ooh, ambusher at this point. Yeah, instead of infantry expert, we definitely need ambusher. So, definitely do that. Just just lose more territory. That's okay. We lost a quarter million while the Germans have suffered. Yeah, about a quarter million as well. So, casualties aren't terrible. They're not good. They're not ideal. But, you know, could be a lot worse. Could be a lot, lot worse. Hmm. Oh, yeah, good. Hold, guys. Hold, guys. I mean, they're only infantry divisions at this point. Because the AI is like, no. Just let all the tanks die. Ooh, rush production. More factory alpha. That's definitely helpful. And then we'll get more construction speed. Good. Hmm. Get some more refineries. Get a couple more military factories. Not bad. Not bad. Radar could definitely... Oh, oh yeah. I could definitely use some radar here. Helps give us an advantage in defense. Radar is actually, in my opinion, underutilized, though. Go ahead and do that. I need some more divisions to help out over here. Not bad, not bad. As long as Finland is... Wait, what the hell are you doing? Well, oh, goodbye. I didn't want you to train, but okay, goodbye. 409, our naval XP isn't bad. Uh, our allies are slowly losing the battle against the Germans, which means everything's going to become a little bit more difficult in a little bit. Everything will be. Ooh, expand the Red Fleet. Uh, well, I mean, that's okay. State of Perpetual Warfare really won't help us right now. Develop oil concerns. Uh, stuff mm, it really doesn't help me that much right now. Positive heroism. Naval doctrine doesn't really help us. Move industry to the Urals. That sounds like a fun thing to do. Anti-fascist roles. Uh, we do have order 277, just in case. 227, I mean. Implement Scorched Earth Tactics. Scorched Earth in the Baltics. I really don't want to do Scorched Earth, but if I have to, I will. Uh, for this, yeah, we want to do that. Why not? As long as we can hold, that's really my goal. I mean, that's why I went with uh, Superior Firepower, because I really wanted to cause a ton of casualties to the German and really the Axis lines. We've caused over 370,000 casualties while only taking a little more than a quarter million ourselves, so it could be a lot worse. Could be a lot worse. Please, please, for the love of God, don't let them break across here. Send them one division help out. Um, yeah. I'm, I feel like we're really playing historically. You know, quite a few losses to begin with. The Germans had quite a push in, but at this point, what are the Germans 
But prepare for sea line. Shouldn't you have prepared for sea line already, Germany? I think they probably should have. It's 1941 already. There are encirclement doctrine. Double bonus for land doctrine, huh? Uh, could I? Mm, I don't know if I can really push into here. I don't feel like I've got enough. Oh. Oh, there's a lot. There's quite a few attacks I see here. Huh. You help out down here. I want you to help out over here. <clears throat> Anywhere where there's a hole in the line or anywhere where it can't be too successful. This is... They're fighting in a swamp? Or... Oh, a marsh. Oh, yeah. That's going to be really hard to take. I'm sure the German AI, AI can take it, but it's going to cost them quite a bit. Artillery, 217 days is a bit too much in my opinion. Soft attack, hard attack, defense, and entrenchment. More defense, more soft attack. Well, what about this? 1940, one. Armor, hmm. I'm using logistic companies already. Naval stuff I might be able to do, but let's see. Air stuff would probably be a good thing to do as well. Do we have any more planes? Or are all, all of our planes already shot down? Medium bombers? Alright, I'll take some medium bombers. Those sound, those sound like fun. Non-aggression pact with the Republic of Iraq. Alright then. Not bad. No one seems to be navally invading us just yet, so that's good. We're winning most of our battles on the front, but not all of them. Which is really, actually, really kind of unfortunate. So we lost that battle, so that's not good. Uh, you might want to help attack potentially. No? Okay, then. Lose the battle, then. Romania, you're going to suffer a lot of casualties. Oh, they're out of manpower. That always helps. Uh, so yeah, overall, I think early on in this war, I was a little bit caught off guard because of the terrible frontline system. But at this point, the front line is stabilized. We're doing okay. We've got a couple factories here. We probably lost a few, but those were factories we didn't really think about anyways. Uh, and our allies are losing in Iberia, though. But the U.S. has been has joined the allies and is now hopefully trying to kick some Japanese booty. But we'll definitely see what happens, seeing as Japan is kind of strong. And I'll let you know that the United States, 49% of the way communist. So we might see a communist states of America before too long. With that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we attempt to hold off more of the German and Axis attacks. Thanks for watching.